Hello Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be creating a pair of beautiful accent windows with a neutral fall wreath. Now these windows are solid wood with bamboo panels and it's accented with a wire type mesh for that rustic farm style look. Now this was made with Dollar Tree items in wood and it can be used and decorated for any occasion year round in your home. Now for your convenience, I provided a list of supplies and tools used to make this project in the description box below. Now I'm so ready to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hey and welcome back to my awesome subscribers and visitors to my channel. If you are a new visitor to my channel today and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's just jump right into that project. Now for this project, we'll need two of the 1x2x8 feet long wood pieces from the Home Depot for $1.18 each. And here is a cut piece just to show you how it looks. We'll also need two of these Dollar Tree trash cans from the Dollar Tree or you can use this gutter guard screen from the Home Depot. We'll also need some of these long bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree. Now the first thing we're going to do is to cut the wood down to size. We'll need four pieces that are going to be 22 inches and four pieces that are going to be cut at 8 inches. Now if you don't have a means to cut the wood, the Home Depot will do this for you at no charge. So I will be assembling the frame using two pieces of each size and we want to sandwich the shorter pieces in between those two longer pieces. Now I will be using this wood glue from the Dollar Tree to initially secure these together. You want to apply that wood glue to each end of those shorter pieces and then press them together. Now if you have some tension clamps, just apply them snug on each end and this will help with the bonding. And then repeat this for the other frame. Now after letting this dry for about a half an hour, we're going to add some screws to our frame to make it nice and sturdy. And I will be using a 3 32nd size drill bit to drill a pilot hole into each corner. Now an alternate option is to use a staple gun on the back seams of the corners as well if it's more convenient for you. Now I will also be using these 1 and 3 quarter wood screws to apply into each one of those corners of the frame. Now I'm just going to start to hand thread it and then screw it all the way into place. Now here are all four corners completed on our frame. Now I will be painting my frame with one coat of some white acrylic paint, but you can choose any color that you like and or even stain it if you like. Now you want to apply the paint all over the front and the inner and outer edges of that frame. And then just paint the other frame as well. And then next we can go ahead and paint those skewers. Now we will need four skewers for each frame. Now I will be using that same white acrylic paint and I'll be applying one coat to the skewers. Now if you can't find the skewers, you can also use thin dowels as well and you can usually get them two or three for a dollar. Now once those skewers are nice and dry, we're gonna grab two of them and bond them together. Now we're going to bond them together on one side with hot glue and we're just going to run hot glue down the seam. We're going to do this for two sets for each frame. So now that our frame is dry, we can add those skewer sets. Now to make sure that they're placed even, I'm just going to go ahead and mark the centers of all of the sides. Thank you. 
And then I'm going to measure the inside of the long side, taking that 19 inch measurement and dividing it into three. And that measurement is about six and a third. So I am marking this measurement on both ends and along the bottom as well. So now we can take our skewer and I'm going to cut two pieces to fit across the front of the frame. And then I'm going to add a generous amount of that hot glue and apply it to both pieces right on those marks that we made. And then we're going to grab that second skewer set and we're going to cut it down to fit down the center of our frames. Now once it's nice and cut, you want to hot glue it in place and add some clips to hold it until it's dry. Now for good measure, just add a little bit of extra hot glue to the sides of the skewers to lock them into place. And here is everything all set and dry. So now all we do is take our other frame, we want to sit it right on top and we can just transfer those markings to the frame. And then we just apply the other skewers the same way as we did the first. Now for the screen, you can use this Dollar Tree waste basket by cutting off the bottom rim and stretching it out and also cutting off that top rim. Now I've done this before with this gather sign and it turned out great. And I'll link the, tutor the tutorial for this DIY in the upper right hand corner of this video and in the description box below. Now I'm going to use this gutter guard screen for this project. This is really thick plastic screen that is so much fun to craft with. You just want to lay out that screen on half of the frame and you want to cut a length to fit. Now once it's nice and cut, you just want to check to make sure that everything is covered and there are no gaps. Now we're going to end up cutting a total of four pieces. So now I'm going to measure and trim that screen down to size so it meets at that center seam. You want to make sure it doesn't overlap the edges as well. And then just trim your remaining pieces. Now I will be painting one side of this screen with this brilliant aluminum spray paint by Krylon and I want to let it dry completely. Now once it's dry, we can apply it to the frame. I just want to place that painted side down and I'm going to align it along that center skewer and then apply some hot glue down that center skewer just to hold it in place. Then just go ahead and staple that screen all the way around the frame. Then repeat this on the other side. And here is the screen all in place. Now I wanted to distress the frame a bit so I'm sanding off some of that acrylic paint around the inner and outer edges of the frame and also a bit on the skewers. Now I wanted to age it a bit so I'm scratching it up with a screwdriver several times and also nicking it with a hammer claw as well. Now to bring out that wood grain that we sanded, I'm just going to apply a bit of this stain in those sanded areas. Now you can also use acrylic paint or antiquing wax as well. Now you just want to do this for both of your frames. 
Now to hang the frames, you can use one of these picture hanging hooks from the Dollar Tree, but I only have one on hand, so I'm just gonna use this jute twine that I tied a knot in each end. I wanna apply that jute twine to the top center, and then I wanna apply a staple right above each knot. And now that we have that in place, we could start on our wreath. Now for each wreath, we'll need four lamb ear stems. We'll need an eight inch wreath form, some wire. We'll need a three clip pumpkins. We'll need some berry clusters and some small pine cones. So I'm gonna clip that wire into pieces about four inches long to be working with. Now I wanna start by applying that lamb's ear around the wreath form and I'm just gonna bend it to fit that wreath form shape. Um, and then I'll just wanna layer four of the stems around and I wanna wire them into place as I go. Now you definitely can use hot glue for this but I plan on reusing these things so wire makes it easy to detach them and reuse them again. Now once that lamb's ear is done, we can start to add our berry bunches. So I'm just gonna add some wire around each one of the berry bunches and twist it up, and then I can add those to my wreath. And now that all those berries are added, we can add our pumpkins. And I love that these have the little clip on the back, so that makes them easy to position. And then for a final touch, we can add some pine cones. Now I already added wire to these, so all I really have to do is attach those to the wreath. And here is our wreath ready to go. And all we need is a second one for the second frame. Now to attach these, all I'm going to do is just grab some ribbon. I got this buffalo check ribbon. And what I wanna do is I wanna run it through that outer ring of the wreath. I wanna loop it right through there. And then I just wanna take that wreath and I wanna center it on the frame. Now once it's nice and center or where you desire it to be placed, all I'm gonna to do to secure it is I am just gonna take my staple gun and apply one staple. And that's it. You can finish the other wreath and you're ready to display these. And now just hang these however you like and enjoy these beautiful windows. Oh my goodness, I really love how these turned out. Now, I really think these turned out amazing, and I love the accent screen in these. And you know what? The distressing is not overdone, but it's just enough to give it that weather look, and I really love that. Now I love the neutral wreaths, but you can choose any color combination you like. You can keep these frames up all year round and add decorations for each holiday. You guys have to let me know how you would decorate these windows in the comments. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on the little notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.